All right, guys. A lot of you folks call me and say, Kirk, how come you never show the finished product? Because we're gone. That's why. But anyway, we decided to come back here because I wanted to explain a few things about this particular finish that it's kind of important. For us, now this finish here, there's three finishes, whether or not it's acrylic like this one or cementitious. Um, you have your fine finishes, which is 30-30 sand. That's all, like talcum powder. That's what this is, a super fine finish. I don't usually recommend those to anybody, but I've done five houses for this guy and he's partial to these super fine finishes. Hey, uh, I, I like the 2030s. That's the medium finish. And then there's the 1620, which is the heavy finish. When we were doing this one here, my son Dan, he was spreading, Jason was spreading the top, my son Dan was spreading the bottom. And we did about 10 cementitious color coats prior to doing this one. And this one, even it caught Dan off guard. I thought he went AWOL while we were doing it. I'm thinking, where's Dan at? We don't have time to wait while we're doing this acrylic finishes. This waits for nobody. So he spread him. And I said, dude, you got to go tighter. You take your trowel. Not so much like this flat, but on edge. And you really go tight because this finish here is about 30 times thicker than paint. Our normal finish is 50 times thicker. And then you have 70 times thicker than paint. This is the hardest one to put on, guys, whether or not it's cementitious or acrylic. Even Danny was putting it on, and he's putting it on like a cementitious. So I had to go over it and pull off a little skim. And we crossed that bridge with him. I said, hey, no worries, man. You don't, this is the first time you've done this very, very fine finish. Uh, anyway, I want to show you what it came out like. It came out really, really beautiful. The homeowner love it. So that's, that's what's really important. I want to also point out to you folks, uh, see, everything is painted now. It's, it's a dark gray. When you have any dark colors, whether or not they're cementitious or whether or not they're acrylic, it's really difficult to keep it consistent like a solid paint surface. The darker the color, the more difficult it is to get a completely solid finish. But can we do it? Absolutely, we can. If this was a two-story wall, I'd have a hard time doing a two-story wall and keeping it consistent where there's no light and various uh, look at these sexy little uh i've not seen that before man that's a nice looking cover electrical cover anyway i want to point out one more thing guys the difference in cost between an acrylic finish and a cementitious finish cementitious finishes are usually we buy the bags say the, the bags are 94 pound sacks and you mix the color cementitious color pigment in that that ranges about Anywhere between $17 to $25 a bag. And you mix the two together in a mixer. We usually put eight bags at a time in a mixer. Now that finish, you get two buckets per bag. This particular finish, it comes in buckets. And how much does one bucket cost? Depending on where you go, whether or not it's Drive It, Carson's, BMI, or of any of those acrylic um, products. And those are the three I just mentioned are three of the top brands. No matter where you go, it's going to be anywhere between $60 to 100 bucks a bucket. So it's three times as expensive, guys, and it's twice as hard for us to apply these finishes. Take one last look over here, Jay. Now this fella, he painted everything, and it, it looks just gorgeous. It came out really well. But for you folks who say, what's the difference in cost and why? That's it, because the materials cost three times minimum as much. They're much harder to apply, and instead of a, a cementitious finish where we just hose down the wall and come back, what we have to do is use a primer. Now, most contractors don't use primers. I do because I stick to the rules on everything because I don't want to avoid warranties. So we have to prime the wall, meaning we've got to paint the whole house, and then we apply this hand finish here. Anyway, guys, I thought I'd point that out only because we're working a block away and we're in the neighborhood, and the fellow who I do a, a lot of work for here, he's real partial to these paper-thin finishes. <laughs> We can do it no matter what they are. But anyway, I thought I'd point that out. My name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. We thank you guys for watching, and as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching, and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching, and from the entire Giordano family, we'll see you on the next one.